Oh god. <laughs> Fresh corn. A lot of corn. <laughs> we have all this lunch on my head. Hold on. <laughs> We are here again with a really awesome summer recipe for you. It is actually 4th of July weekend um, right now for us. We have some friends in town, um, it's sunny, we're going to be outside a lot this weekend. So we want to make something that is a fan favorite, a big refreshing corn elote kind of style salad. Yeah, our mom made this for us a lot over the last few years and made it for some of our friends over that time. And so we have some friends absolutely begging us to make this recipe. And so, as in Noelle. Here you, go. <laughs> here you are, Noelle. This is the corn salad recipe you've been begging for, um, for everyone else at home. It's actually a Cook's Illustrated recipe. There's nothing that needs alterations in this recipe. It's awesome the so, way that it is. So we're just gonna make the Cook's Illustrated recipe for you and uh, walk you along with what we're doing. We love to wait until corn season to make this salad yes. so that we can use fresh corn and not canned corn. Um, my mom has done both and we just find that the real like fresh good time of year corn yeah. is where it's at. It's just the best flavor so that's what we're going to do for you. This recipe is pretty simple and doesn't have too many ingredients so we're going to show you the ingredients and then we'll get started. Awesome. The ingredients that we will be using today are fresh limes, jalapeno chilies, or serranos, if you can find them, fresh garlic, green onions, sour cream, mayonnaise, cotija cheese, cilantro, chili powder, and fresh corn. So obviously we have to get inside of the corn. So Camille we have to and I find the corn. We have to find the corn. So Camille and I are gonna shuck all this corn. Um, we're actually gonna only use six ears and see how it goes. We bought a little extra. You only wanna do six? You don't wanna do double? Oh, you wanna do a double recipe? I figured we'd at least do one and a half or something, just because we have a lot of people if they want to try something. Alright, sure. We I guess are going to do a double recipe today. And so we'll use about uh, nine ears of corn, maybe 10, we'll see. Maybe we'll go wild and use all 12. And uh, we will be right back. So I watched a trick from Bon Appetit where they use a large bowl and then put a small bowl inside the large bowl as a like platform for the corn to stand on. And then all the kernels just drop into the large bowl. You said you thought it was handy. I think it was Andy, but I think a lot of them use this technique because it's honestly genius. Like if you try to cut corn off the cob on a cutting board or something, it's all going to fly everywhere. And if you don't put this little bowl in there, then your knife won't be able to get to the bottom of the corn cob. So genius. No, do you know how much garlic we need? Let's use like four cloves of garlic for a double recipe. Camille and I are a little bit corn spoiled. We grew up visiting family in Northern California who actually farmed corn and we would eat it directly off the stalk in the field. 
it was like almost like an apple, just the fact that you could eat it and all the juice and it just. Yeah, eating it raw was really unique to those experiences for us. We've never really done that with corn we buy at the grocery store, but. I don't think it's the same. It's not the same, I don't think. It was the sweetest, best corn ever. I'm just gonna finish chopping this up and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, we have a ton of corn kernels now here. Camille is going to mix together the creamy elements, which is the sour cream, the mayonnaise. What else are we gonna mix in there? Lime. Uh, lime juice, sour cream, mayonnaise, lime juice, and then we're gonna chop up the uh, chilies to throw in there as well. While we mix that together, I'm gonna start browning this corn. So, we are doing a double recipe, it's a lot of corn. I'm gonna use two pans so that it goes faster. Okay, we're gonna go about medium high-ish heat here, about a tablespoon of oil in each pan. I'm just gonna get this oil hot really quick while I chop the chilies up for Camille. Okay, so, I'm hoping these jalapenos are spicy. Uh, typically we use serranos, but the store was out. So let's just chop these chilies up really nice and thin. If you are sensitive to spice, just go ahead and remove the ribs and the seeds, but we're not. <laughs> and Never. use jalapenos because they're less spicy chilies. Yeah, jalapenos are a lot less spicy than serranos typically, though they can carry a lot of heat. I'm gonna eat one, let's see. What's the verdict? Um, spicy but not like killer. Mm. I'm gonna use four of them. How much do you eat? That one, that one was spicy. Oh yeah? Oh my God. So really thin slices on that is perfect. The oil's hot here, so I'm gonna dump some corn in. Just like we've done with so many other things, you want it to sizzle when it hits the pan, and you don't wanna use too much in one pan. That's why we're kind of spreading it out over the pan so that all the corn kind of has an opportunity to have contact with the pan, which creates the browning. Oh, let's put a little salt on the corn. Why are you salting it first? Uh, because Cook's Illustrated says so. <laughs> and we're gonna do it that way. I think it'll help draw a little bit of water out and help steam the corn a little bit. We are just going to put it in there, let it sit for about three minutes, and there will be some color on the corn. We'll do it one more time with the rest of it, and we'll be good to go. These limes are really good and juicy, but they're reminding me that we made, um, or Naomi and I just went to Tulum with some of our friends. We're hoping to get a video out for you guys of like some of our favorite bites and our favorite memories and just like a little montage of what we did there because it was so beautiful and so much fun. Super fun. Um, but Naomi was very impressed with their limes in Mexico. <laughs> they were insane. They were not only like so large, but That's also stunning. so soft and juicy and just beautiful, like so much juice comes out of one line. It was crazy. Okay, so I got all my jalapeno sliced nice and thin. I did a good amount of it. I did four really small jalapeno chilies. When we mix everything together, we'll just kind of judge it and see if we want to use all of it. We probably will. So this is the dressing that Naomi had me made, make. It's, it looks just like white and <laughs> loose, but it's, um, here, let me tell you. So we made a double recipe. Um, so if you don't want this much, just half it. But it has six tablespoons of lime juice, six tablespoons of sour cream, and two tablespoons of mayonnaise. But just like a nice thick, dressing. thin. <laughs> but it's like a thick dressing, but thin sour cream um, that we'll pour over it to give it like that creamy elote feel. Perfect, and I believe we also add these chilies to it. 
Um, what do you think, Camille? They're all kind of in thin rings, yeah, but that's what it says in the recipe too. Do you want me to chop them slightly smaller? Maybe half the rings, just because it was a really spicy one that I got. The chilies go in the dressing. Even though there's a lot of chili in this and it is spicy, the creaminess of the sour cream, the mayonnaise, the cotilla cheese we're gonna put in there will help uh, cut the spiciness. And also the lime, acid helps with spicy as well. Okay, and then same with the scallions, just really thin. You want like really thin little uh, pieces here so that you don't have huge bites of anything. And then one teaspoon of chili powder going in with the garlic to cook with the corn and give it that like really smoky, spicy, rich flavor. Okay, corn sounds like it's done sizzling. It's probably been about three minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn off the heat, let it stand for 15 to 20 seconds. I don't want to open the lid yet because corn tends to kind of pop up and I just want it to settle without burning myself. We're, we're like moving and grooving on this recipe. One, because I mean, it's the morning, we're a little bit hungry and two, we have friends coming over that want to try it. Um, and then we're going to slosh ball today. Um, so we want to get this kind of move in so we can get our day started. Um, I'll try to insert some clips of us playing. Oh, that was mean. Good call, good call. Dude, Sam, fill up your cup. Dude. Slash ball, if you've never played, is basically like a really big game of kickball, but there is beer on second base. So it's like kind of like a fun daytime drinking, but activity. It's a really good time. So we like to play it when a lot of friends are in town because you kind of need a lot of people. Uh, we haven't played it in a couple years, so I'm excited. I've actually never played slosh ball. But... Yeah, Naomi's never joined us. And obviously Naomi can't have the keg, but there are some people coming that don't don't uh, eat gluten or don't, don't drink beer. So we're gonna put some white claws on second too. But oh, unfortunately, nice. Naomi is working today. Gotta go to work. <laughs> She'll play next time. All right, we're gonna finish up cooking the corn, and we'll be right back. All right, all the corn's done. Some nice browning color on there. Smells absolutely amazing. Now, the next step is to saute the garlic and chili powder a little bit, just to kind of cook the garlic so it's not super raw and bloom the chili powder. There's so much flavor in this pan that I want to try to get any of it that might um, lift up when I saute this garlic. Oh, wow. Little corn silks. Yeah, that's not hair. <laughs> yeah, corn silk everywhere. Spices just taste so much better when they've been cooked a little. And I'm actually just gonna stir it all around the whole pan to try to pick up some of that fond. Which fond is the leftover Which, flavor? Yeah, the fond is like the browning on the bottom of the pan. Just a couple seconds here. And then we will dump it right into the corn. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna stir that around while it's fresh in here. So this is time that the dressing can go on, even though it's still hot, you said. Yeah, the um, recipe that we're following says to add the dressing is our sour cream and mayonnaise and lime and chili like we talked about earlier. Yeah. And then after this gets all incorporated, I'm going to stick it in the fridge to try to cool it a little faster before we add the cilantro, green onion, cotilla cheese. You don't want to add that stuff in while it's still really hot because then they'll cook and not be as vibrant green and then the cotilla will melt, which we're going for crumbly cotilla, not like melted cheese in the salad. Okay, I'm gonna cool this off for 15, 20 minutes and I'll meet you back here. 
Okay, the corn mixture is sufficiently cooled. I am gonna have Camille help me transfer it into another bowl. It's <laughs> just, it's just for aesthetics. It's because it's cuter. <laughs> It doesn't have to be like ice cold or anything or, you know, it just doesn't, you don't want it to be piping hot to like really cook your nice aromatic ingredients that you're about to add. Honestly, also, if you don't really like cilantro, like this is delicious. It's just a little rich, so this will add a nice brightness to it, but it's still delicious like this. If you're not a cilantro person, you could probably put some parsley in there or, uh... Or just the green onions. Just, yeah, maybe more green onion. Mm -hmm. But a more fresh bite. If you don't like cilantro, I honestly feel bad for you. Um, okay, green onion's gonna go in. Uh, cilantro. I'm using about an entire bunch of cilantro, chopped up really fine. And then about eight ounces of the cotilla cheese. We'll start with that. It's a little salty, so careful there. So pretty and bright and colorful. I love it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I can't get over it. No, this bowl is not the most aesthetic, but you oh, know, well. guys, it tastes delicious. We tried. That's the point, okay? Okay, let's try it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Shush, shush, shush. Let's eat let's it. Let's eat it. I want everything. In my and that's mouth. it, guys. I feel like that was kind of anticlimactic. That's the end. That's let's it. Let's taste it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. So summery tasting. Mm -hmm. I mean, the corn is just delicious and sweet. Yes. Nice and bright. I'm gonna have another bite. Sorry. It's all our friends, so double dipping is not a thing. We're fine. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Let's call somebody down to try it. Okay. Anyone wanna be a taste tester? <laughs> All right, I hear one. I hear footsteps running towards us. This All right, just his hand. All right, we have a new taste tester in the house. If she looks familiar, familiar oh, that's because God. she is Jess's twin. Kimmy! Yay, Kimmy! Yay, Kimmy! <laughs> <laughs> All right, taste oh. tester Kimmy. Oh, this is good. our corn salad. Okay, a little bit spicy, creamy, uh, really fresh. Is it okay for me to eat? Yeah. Yeah. She no has a nut allergy. I'm like allergic Jess. to a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. No nuts at all, gluten free. I mean, as long as you can eat corn and garlic and green onion and cilantro and chocolate. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's my perfect. gosh. That was a little spicy. Yeah. That's Ooh. good, right? Uh, that's so good. good. Yay, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Thanks, Kimmy. Oh my god, you like it. Jess, off camera, what do you think? It's f***ing good. <laughs> <laughs> The personality differences are apparent. <laughs> I can like taste like all the different flavors, like the cheese at the beginning and the spice at the end. And it's like really creamy and light, even though it's like corn and it's a starch. So, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, Does it feel honestly, nice and summery too with the corn? Yeah. There's not even that much like creaminess in it. And the whole thing, there's like six tablespoons of sour cream, but right. for the whole thing, you know? So it's pretty light and one of our faves. Okay, you can eat off camera. <laughs> thanks, Kimmy. Thanks, Kimmy. Awesome. Well, uh, thanks for hanging out with us while we made you some corn salad. Let us know down below if you guys make this for yourself. Um, if there's any other salads that you love to make during the summer that make you just feel festive and summery like this. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, Naomi. I can't stop eating it. Bring it to a barbecue. Make it for your friends. It's freaking it slosh ball. Freaking delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.